All right, YouTube. I'm going to start by telling you that this is probably one of the only videos on YouTube that's going to explain to you not only how to do this, but also how this uh, how a CD player actually works, um, so you understand the inner workings of it and why this happens and how this happens. So, first off, let's start things off with uh, how these CD players work. Now, car CDs are also known as uh, slot loaders, which is uh, the CD is loaded through the slot here, uh, whereas on like your PlayStation 3 or Xbox, um, you push an eject button and the, the disk drive comes out. Um, you put the disk in the drive and you push it back in and it reads the disk. That's a that's a, uh, a tray loader. This is a slot loader. So it's not a manual load mechanism, it's automatic. Basically, you, you slide your CD up to it and you push it in a little bit and then you let go and it sucks it up automatically. Um, now how that works, essentially there's some kind of sensor inside of this uh, slot here that senses when something is in between the two sensors, probably a lot like a uh, like a garage door close um, override thing. If you put your foot in front of the garage door, it won't close all the way, probably a lot like that, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. The important part that you're going to need to know about is right behind that, that little sensor, there's a little rod that goes all the way across, a little steel rod or maybe aluminum. That rod has a bunch of gears on it. When those sensors sense that there's something in between them, it causes this rod to rotate, you know, this way, forward, and uh, in, until it is sensed that there is a CD um, on the on the motor, on the drive motor. Basically, on that rod, there's a rubber sleeve. This rubber sleeve grips the bottom of the CD and pulls it in the rest of the way. So. This rot, this uh, this rubber on there, um, can get dirty. It can get dusty. It can get greasy. It can get slippery from one way or another. Um, and when you try to put your disc in, the disc will start to slide in. But once it reaches the point where the rubber is contacting all of the CD, it won't want to suck it in all the way because the uh, rubber is just rotating, and the uh, the little microscopic dust particles or grease on the roller will just slide on the CD and the CD won't want to go in all the way so you get this where a CD goes in and it goes in about halfway or three quarters of the way stops comes out part way goes back in comes out part way and then either you get a CD error or it'll just keep trying for all of eternity until you grab it and pull it out I'm not going to demonstrate it because it's bad for the player to do that and I'm actually going to show you how to fix it in this video in addition to explaining how it works also, before I get to how uh, how to fix it, the most common issue with them is that they get dusty or dirty or greasy and you have to clean them off, but there is a very rare occasion where the rubber sleeve becomes detached from the rod, the steel rod that goes through it, where the rod will spin and the roller will not or it will partially spin, and in that case you have to take your player apart and either glue the sleeve back in place or just replace the uh, CD drive altogether. But I'm going to hold out hope that that is not the case in mine, and I will be able to fix it with this. So, on to the next chapter of it, how to actually clean these. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a copied, copycat deal, um, as seen on a video from about 14 years ago here on YouTube called Easy Load Fix. And in that video, he had a little homemade device, not unlike this one, um, where he used it to clean the slot but in his video he doesn't explain what this is how you make it or anything like that he just demonstrates it working there's a couple different ways you can do this the way I've done it's kind of a janky way the way you want to do it is with like a kind of a plastic this is a uh, cardstock paper I got it from Hobby Lobby um, and there's a CD this is regular paper I use a trace there's a CD in between these two pieces of paper and uh, the CD is taped uh, to both of the pieces of paper inside here so I can show you that just like that so it won't suck in the machine and then you want to have these little tabs on the sides of it so when you stick this in here the tabs will bottom out on the sides of the slot and it won't allow this to go all the way into your player and ruin it so the reason you want to use plastic is you want something smooth you want this player to think that you are putting a CD in it and it will start to suck it in you don't want something rough because it will wreck the rubber and you don't want something uh, that could uh, disintegrate with, with uh, 
with moisture because you're going to be spraying something on this to uh, clean your your uh, slot roller. Um, so, like I said, the way you want to do this is get like a plasticky, smooth plastic type material, like a plastic sheet that's about the same thickness as a CD. Cut it into this shape right here, um, which all I did to do this was trace a CD, trace the you know top half of a CD here, and then I went down about four inches, and then I made my little grooves here on the bottom, which are only a half inch wide. Um, and that should be good enough for you. But I could not find the plastic that I wanted, and I would have to order some, and I wanted to do this tonight, so I just made this little deal where I put the CD in between the two pieces of paper so I can safely spray it without the CD uh, being sucked into the machine. So that's how you do this. Now, what you want to do with this is you get your isopropyl alcohol. You do not want rubbing alcohol because there's oil in rubbing alcohol. And as we know, oil ruins these things or it causes your disc not to want to eject or insert. Um, so you want isopropyl alcohol. 99% is the best, but you can't actually buy that at the pharmacy because it's considered like alcoholic or whatever. So 91 is the highest percentage that you're going to be able to get, which I got at Walgreens here. Um, you want it in a spray bottle. If it doesn't come in a spray bottle, you're going to have to buy the little, you know, uh, whatever normal bottles of it and put it in a spray bottle because what you're going to do is you're going to spray this alcohol onto the back of your, uh, your, your little load, uh, gizmo here. And then you want to stick this into the CD player and wait until it starts to suck it in. And when it does suck in, you want to make sure that it bottoms out on these stops here. And if it doesn't, or it tries to suck it past, I made this little handle right here to grab onto that so it won't suck it all the way in. I can grab onto that and prevent it from going all the way in. But uh, basically you spray that. You don't want to completely saturate this because it is paper. It will get soft eventually with moisture, but it is cardstock, so it's going to be a little harder than regular construction paper or regular printer paper. Um, so you spray it down with your uh, rubbing alcohol, shove it in the machine, wait till it stops and gives you a CD error, or uh, until you just feel like it's done it enough. Usually three or four times of it trying to push it back out and suck it back in is enough um, from what I've been able to understand off of reading forums and such. When it's done, grab it, pull it out, and uh, look at the back of your uh, thing here. And you should be using white plastic. The only thick enough cardstock I could find that was the right uh, uh, texture was black. But really, you want to be using white because you'll be able to see just how much grime came off of that thing. When you pull it out and you flip it over, you'll be able to see all the grease and grime and dirt particles that came off of that. Um, and if there's not that much, then you might be dealing with your uh, roller separating from the rod and if there's a whole lot then go ahead and try a CD and see if it works any better but uh, I have to put the camera down so I can actually do this so I will do it I'll pull it out um, and then I will show you the results so just a second here okay so I've just done it and you can kinda see just how much dust was inside of that right there right there and along right right there that all came out of my CD player. That's not good. There's a bit right there, too. Um, this thing was having a, a bit of a hard time. The paper I have on top kept jamming it up, and it didn't want to uh, suck it in because it was too thick, and it recognized that it was too thick. So you might want to uh, refrain from using this paper here, but I really didn't want that CD that I have taped onto this to get sucked in by accident because it's a sc really scratched-up CD, and uh, I'm just using it as a... Uh, a sacrificial one to get this to work but after you do this you want to wait a few minutes for your slot to dry out because you just put a bunch of alcohol in there it's gonna to have to evaporate once you've waited a minute or so stick a CD in and try it and see what happens that's what I'm gonna do and if it still doesn't uh, work correctly then I'll just try this thing this trick again with the alcohol and this thing after I clean this off of course I don't want to put all this dust back in the system try it again and rinse and repeat until it does work if you do it probably more than three times and it's still not working, you probably got that occasion where your, your roller separated from the rod and you're going to have to take it apart and replace it. But I have optimism that this is going to work. So I will write down in the description whether it worked or not. And um, thanks for watching. I hope I helped someone.